my channel. My name is Emily and today I have a super fun video for you guys. I'm going to be repotting this guy right here. Um, we're gonna be repotting my fiddle leaf fig and um, I'm gonna be giving you guys some plant tips here and there on the video. And also please stick around to the end because I have a super amazing giveaway for you guys. So yeah, you don't wanna miss that. So what I will be using to repot my plant today will be this potting soil specifically for fiddle leaf figs by the Fiddle Leaf Fig Plant Resource. Um, and I use this brand's fertilizer and I swear it's what's helped to keep my plant like super healthy. Um, the owner actually reached out and gifted this to me so I can repot my plants. This guy um, has literally everything you need for your for your fiddle leaf fig. It's fast draining for indoor containers, encourages hardy root systems and growth, and provides excellent aeration and nutrient retention. So that's awesome. And I'm also gonna go ahead and read the in ingredients for you guys so you can know. Um, so the ingredients are garden soil, green waste, compost, aged bark, wood, biocar, cocoa core, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and perlite, of course. So yeah, we're gonna be using this guy. So like I said, be sure to stick around for the end of the video because I promise I have an awesome giveaway for you guys and it includes products by this brand. So stick around. All right, so I put my hair up and it's time to get started. Um, so I have my fiddle leaf fig in a 10 inch pot. So I'm going to be repotting him in a 12 inch. So yeah, every whatever plant size you have, just go up two inches whenever you need to repot it. And um, I haven't watered him in a couple of days, so it's gonna be easier for me to take him out of the pot. So yeah, don't make, make sure that you're not watering your plant before repotting it, because um, it's gonna be tougher to take him out of the pot and you're gonna need to um, water him after anyways. guys he's not that bad he doesn't have like he's not like root bound or anything which is good <laughs> okay so what you want to do is you're gonna loosen up some of the soil to get the roots a little bit like separated because they might be a little bit root bound oh I do feel it a little bit yeah so yeah, just give it a little massage. Um, and fiddle leaf figs can be a little sensitive, so I wouldn't mess around with it too much. I think that should be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So I just massaged him a little bit to get some of the roots like loosened up a bit. So that's the most I'm gonna go just because I don't wanna mess with him too much. So he's not like in complete shock or anything. All right, next we are gonna go ahead and get our soil. Oops, sorry about that. Nice, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our soil. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm adding um, like a third of this container. All right, so we have that. Next, we're gonna put him into the pot. All right, so he's in the pot. And these sticks that I have right here, they're just to help hold him up because he started leaning a lot and stuff. So it's just to like help him stay upright. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of the container. have it and now I'm gonna give you guys a few plant tips oh before I forget you're gonna want to water your plants every time you um, repot them okay so I'm gonna water this guy in a little bit so I'm just gonna move you guys so you can enjoy the rest of the plants I'm moving right now so I just have them all like in a, this little corner so fiddly fix can be a little tricky to care for in the beginning, but as you keep caring for it, then you'll learn what's best. The fiddly fig plant resource actually sent over their top 10 um, fiddly fig plant care tips. So I wanted to go ahead and share those with you guys. Um, I actually have them on my laptop right here. Um, and I'll actually have a blog post about this. So if you guys want, all my information is down below in the description. I'll have my website on there and you can find the full blog listing all these tips as well as other blogs that I have um, about this guy. So let's go ahead and read them out for you guys. Um, all right, so number one, don't water too much. That's usually the main problem with plants. It's easier to neglect them a little bit and water them less than than overwatering. Overwatering, you can just kill your plant. Um, so don't drown your plant. Too much of any good thing can end up being a bad thing. Plants need water to thrive, but never leave your plant with soaking wet roots or soil and allow about a week between each watering. So with my fiddle leaf fig, I wait for it to be completely dry, for the soil to be completely dry. Um, just to be sure because like i said they're a little bit tricky and when i first nearly killed him it was because i was over watering him and um i would water him every single week and he did not need that much water so yeah that's tip number one tip number two accept the loss of older leaves as your plant grows it will shed older leaves which are generally toward the bottom of your plant think of it like humans losing baby teeth we have to lose the old so we can bring in the new. So I know it sucks when your fiddle leaf fig loses a leaf. I know like I get super, I was super sad in the beginning, but it's totally normal. And it might be helpful for you to even start removing some of those old leaves if you see it like struggling um, a little bit. That's what I do when they're looking a little sad. And also, right, um, now that I think about it, if you buy, if you recently buy a fiddle leaf egg and then you notice that it has lost some leaves when you bring him home, that's totally normal because they're in a new environment and it takes them some time to get used to it. So just another little tip there. Tip number three, humidity is your friend. Ideally, your plant will need anywhere from 30 to 65% humidity. You can provide some extra humidity by buying a humidifier but make sure your plant isn't too close to a heating vent, which could scorch or over dry it. So I am currently in Southern California, so the humidity is great here. I'm by the ocean and I don't really need a humidifier, um, but they're out there. If you do, depending on where you live, that might be something that you'd be interested in. Okay, so tip number four, repot when needed. As humans grow in stature, we also outgrow things like shoes. The same happens when your plant starts growing, but instead of shoes, it may outgrow its pot. A good rule of thumb is if you see the roots growing near the bottom of edges of your pot, you may need to repot your plant. So perfect, that's exactly what we did today. Tip number five, feed them. Healthy plants require proper nutrition to stay healthy. That's why I recommend using a diluted fertilizer each time you feed your plant in the spring and summer months. Limit to every other watering in the fall months and no fertilizer in winter months. So this is really important too. I, like I mentioned to you guys, I use the, um, the same company's 
um, the same brand's plant food and it's diluted and it's super gentle enough to use for every single watering. I literally just ran out, so I need to get on that and um, get some more. But yeah, it's super nice to just be feeding your plant um, every time you water it. So I would really uh, consider that. Um, tip number six, weekly checkups. When making a new friend, you spend time with them to get to know them better. You should be doing the same with your new plant friend. Check out, check on your plant regularly, preferably weekly, to check the soil, leaves, and roots. Also make sure you, are, you rotate your plant to each side so that it gets proper sunlight exposure. So I do check on my plants regularly, um, just because you never know, like these guys will get really dusty too. So it's important to like wipe them down a little bit, give them some extra care. Um, and also make sure you're checking for pests or anything like that and um and yeah so that's that tip and tip number seven treat problems quickly if you see any brown spots on your plant leaves or insect infestations or an abundance of dropped leaves you will want to act quickly as these are all signs of problems with your plant so that's what happened with me when I was nearly killing him. I started seeing like one, one leaf started getting like brown around the edges. And then that soon turned into two, three, like four leaves. And I was freaking out. Um, and it was just because I was doing everything wrong because I had him in a cute spot in my apartment instead of where it properly, properly needed to be to get um, a good amount of sunlight. And I was also overwatering him. But yeah, I was <laughs> I was not doing the right things. So I acted quickly. I researched what was going on and I was able to save my plant. Um, okay. Tip number eight, let them rest during winter months. Because plants in the wild receive less sunlight during winter than in summer or spring months, your plant will have less energy to help with its metabolic functions. Give your plant some time to rest in the winter, but not fertilizing and watering less um, during those months. So that's super simple. It's basically with most of my plants, I guess, like during the winter, I kind of just like neglect them a bit because that's what they need anyways. So tip number nine, proper drainage. Roots need both oxygen and water to thrive, but too much of either is not good for your plant. Making sure your plant has an adequate drainage system and watching that it drains entirely each after each watering allows for easy breathing for your plant. So this is super important and um, and the way that I make sure my plants stay healthy is by taking them to the sink or to the bathtub to water them. I don't like to water them in their pots because in their like decorative pots because I don't want them to be sitting in in water or anything all of, most of my plants are in their nursery pots and then i just put them into like the cute decorative pots take them out when i need to water them and then um, when i put them in the tub or in the sink i'll like just like to see the water just drain out um and then that's just how you know like that they're not going to be sitting in water getting root bound or anything like that so that's what i personally like to do um, and then tip number 10 is use the right tools. So like I said, the Fiddly Fig plant resource has a bunch of information and a bunch of products that you guys can use to help give your plants a little bit of extra care. So I would definitely check that out. Okay, I promised you guys an awesome giveaway and the Fiddly Fig plant resource wants to give one of you guys their plant care bundle, which is literally everything that you need to care for your fiddle leaf fig. Okay, so what is included in the giveaway? The winner will win multiple items. The first thing will be the fiddle leaf fig potting mix, exactly what we used today. And then the second prize will be the fiddle leaf fig plant food, which is the liquid fertilizer that I use for my plant. Um, and I've been using it for a while and I love it. So that's gift number two. Okay, the third thing included in the giveaway prize is the propagating and rooting hormone. I've never used this before, but I'm sure it's super helpful when you wanna propagate your fiddle leaf fig because it takes so long to do um, 
when you put it into water. I've tried it and yeah, it takes way too long. And then the last prize included in the giveaway will be the plant cleaner and leaf shining spray, which would be super helpful when you're doing your weekly check-ins on your plant. And um, if you notice it starting to get a little bit dusty, I would just go ahead and wipe them down, use the cleaning spray, and they'll be looking super good. All right, so there you guys have it. If you wanna win all these products, then go ahead and head over to my Instagram and you're gonna find the recent um, Instagram post about the giveaway. And all you have to do to enter is to follow me, follow the Philly Fig plant resource, and you're gonna like and comment on that post. The giveaway winner will be announced on Monday, June 29th, so go ahead and enter as soon as possible. Um, if you're seeing this after it's already been announced, then I'm really sorry, um, but I will be doing more giveaways um, and stuff, so just be sure to follow. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it pretty helpful. Um, and also let me know what you're interested in seeing next. I recently moved, so I'm thinking about doing a moving video. Um, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. And in the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to. And also, um, go ahead and please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, it really helps me. And yeah, I really wanna make some more videos, so it would be helpful if you guys go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and yeah, just let me know what you're interested in seeing. Um, but yeah, until then, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.